Hey guys, it's Carl Brown of GuitarLessons365.com. Today we're going to begin our look at Anastasia by Slash. So, this beginning is an acoustic finger style uh, thing, uh, kind of a classical sounding thing, and then we make it to the you know the full band section. We're going to take care of all of it. This first lesson is just going to be that acoustic intro. All the guitars in this whole song are tuned down a half step, so make sure you tune down, and we're ready to go now. The finger picking patterns that he uses are kind of unorthodox if you actually have like trained classical technique. Um, he doesn't use his ring finger, so that, that's why you'll see me picking that. I'm kind of just using my middle finger on the top two strings instead of that. Now it's actually much easier if you have a little bit of finger style training, like classical training to you know, use all the four fingers to play those notes, but he doesn't do it, so I'm playing it like he does. Um, if you don't have the finger style training, it's actually easier not to use your A finger, all right? It doesn't have as much independence, gotta be kind of worked with a little bit. All right, so let's start here with these patterns. We're gonna start on a D minor chord. All right, so I'm gonna pick on that D minor, the D string, and then the, with my thumb, G string with my index, middle finger against the B string and move that B finger, uh, that middle finger over to the high E and then back to the B. So I picked all three of those notes. And then thumb on the D again and then G string. That's how he picks it if you watch him play it live. Now we're going to play this next chord. It's going to be the same. So full bar here. And the note you're going to be playing on is, the bass note is on the fifth string this time, so that's the only difference in the right hand. Alright, so that's the third fret on the B and the G strings and the barring of the first fret. Alright, now I'm going to go to the same strings we were just picking, except the second fret on the A string, open G, Third fret on the D, I mean B string, and then first fret on the high E. Same pattern, just done once this time. And then he picks straight across, reach down and grab the third fret on the low E, open G, D, B string, and the high E string. You just still got the same chord. And then the same pattern again, except now starting on the fifth string. Then we make it to the C chord. All right, so the C, you kind of hold a little bit, a little bit, change it up. You do a different uh, order of notes and do them in different directions. You're gonna start with just the holding a C chord, and then we're gonna play the fifth string, G, B, reach over and grab the high E, back to the B, back to the G, let's play this. And then pick the A string again, and then now descend between those notes, so the high E, B string, and G. Let's play this. And then you're gonna play the fifth string, and then the B, there's a little pattern in here, and then keep holding the C. D string with the thumb, index on the open G, and then the third fret on the A string. So we have this all together for the C chord. Then pick that note again, and slide it up one fret. It's gonna be open G now, 
second fret on the A on B string there, and then open high E string. Pick across it once, and then lift up the bass note on the A string and just pick the open A in the bass. And we've made it to this little fill. That's fifth fret on the D and the B string together a few times. Then pick it and slide down to third fret and then second. You can just use your, your thumb and middle finger there. Alright? So slow so far. Alright, now we're back to that D, D minor. So one time in the full picking pattern there, and now you're just going to pick across it once. Then lift up your first finger and put your third finger here at the third fret on the A string and pick across the fifth, third, second, and first. So like this. Now I'm going to just be picking across some chords moving fast, starting with this B flat chord we did earlier, then this A chord, so it's just second fret on the G and the B, picking the same strings, then that same pattern on the C chord, and then reach over and just grab the third fret on the low E string. That's on a G, so you're just going to have, you're going to be picking the sixth string, fourth, third, and second. All together for these chords moving around the second half of it. Sorry. Continuing it on. B flat major chord. Just hold if you just want to bar it with your third finger here. Four middle strings. So what you'll be picking right straight across all. First fret on the A string, then the F major chord, the low 6th string is the root now, to the E major. Now the E major has a different pattern. So we're picking straight across, just thumb, 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 index, middle, 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 and then thumb on the D, back to the in index on the G, thumb on the A, index on the D. So we have this. Low open a E string. Now as you hit that low E, switch to an A7 chord. That's second fret on the D, second fret on the uh, B string. So we're just picking across that. After that low E, A, a string, four string, then G, B, high E, open. Add your little finger there, the third fret on the um, top string, three times. And then do a quick hammer from one to three, pull off to one, pull off to zero. Second on the B, second on the G, back on the high E string. So we have this. And as you play that open high E, try to get a little trill going between the first fret. Just keep hammering on and pull it off. Alright, so that second half really slow.
Alright, so stay tuned. We're going to get to the full band section while I was ripping Slash Hollows next. I'll see you then.